Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There will be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we take? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me then? For I've just given him a chance of my As have I, Captain John John, as will all the Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our sample to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subject, I assure you. Why, sir? I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we?
Grandmaster, welcome. Buenas noches. What have you done? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something new. And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. What of the sage's present Africa, your excellency. Africa? By God. The weeds do not pay back. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? I ask you to digest yourself and seek this. Concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I ask you to divest yourself of that sick institution. I fail to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to live. But enslave a mind's mind, and his body will follow up. Natural, efficient. A fair point, Grandmaster. Hey, remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've said two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us downriver! Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. 